How to trick your loved ones into getting healthy. Surrounded by unhealthy friends and family? Skip the nagging and practice the ancient art of psychological jujitsu. They'll never see you coming. You will need care and concern, commitment, cleverness, and confident cunning. Optional, a total lack of scruples. While this video is awesome, it didn't go to medical school. Always consult your doctor for actual medical advice. Step one, let them think it's their idea. Ask rhetorical questions they'll answer yes to, like, wouldn't it be great to be fabulously thin? Then, casually mention a number of different options that could help. By making a choice, they'll feel in control and empowered. Phrase your questioning as if it's pertinent to you, not them. They might be likelier to do something for your sake than for their own. Step two, fool them into getting a checkup by turning it into sport. Arrange a scavenger hunt with items like your cholesterol levels or proof of a flu shot. Step three, send them on meaningless errands to get their heart rate up. Your knee is aching. Surely they wouldn't mind getting the book you left upstairs. Oops, sorry, the other book. Thanks. Oh, also your reading glasses? Give the fake errands some fake urgency. Claim they're giving away free ice cream on the other side of the mall. Step four, play mind tricks. Because most people tend to believe what's said about them, if you refer to someone as energetic and active, they'll begin to feel and then act that way. Step five, challenge them to a little healthy competition, whether it's running laps or lifting weights. The thrill of victory can be a powerful motivator, so do what you can to make the contest believably close, but always in their favor. Did you know? One study found that rats that ran regularly created new brain cells that were protected from stress. For more ideas on how to get better health for more people, check out youtube.com slash howcast.